actually didn't know the song. What's fun? What's funny is that's the reason I sang the chorus so many times, was because I didn't know the song very well. I had just heard it, and I had actually um, heard uh, a worship leader from Lakewood, Cindy Reckland. I had heard her sing it, and I was like, "What is that song? That's amazing!" And and I played her her version of it a few times on a video, and I brought it to our team, and I was like, "I want to do this song." Um, so we'll have to learn it at some date. Well, uh, I forgot all about it, was on my way to Jesus Image that night, and in the car, I heard this, this has happened uh, only a handful of times, I heard this pad, I can't explain it, but I heard this pad in my, in my, uh, in my head, and it was in, it was in that key, I think it was A or A flat, and, um, and I, started seeing that chorus and the Lord said, do it tonight. So I get there and then I realized, wait a minute, this song has verses. I don't know the song. <laughs> so uh, I was going to ask the team, have any of you heard this song called Worthy? And I didn't know it was by Elevation at the time. And uh, everyone's looking at me like, no. So I said, well, um, Maybe I'll show you, I'll show you, it kind of, you know, the chorus goes, worthy is your name, Jesus. And they were like, no. And I was like, okay, well, maybe not. We won't do it. And uh, so in our pre-service prayer time, I'm sitting on the couch uh, and we're praying um, together with the whole team. And I get this pad in my head again. And I'm like, what in the world? So I lean over to Joel, the key, the MD there. And I said, what key is this? And I hummed the key and he's, he found it on his phone. He said, I think it's A. And I said, we're going to start in that key tonight. I feel like we're supposed to. And the Lord said, do that song. And, uh, and so I get up there and I'm like, Lord, I don't know the song. And I was like, you want me to do this song? Do I pull my phone out and like pull the lyrics up? And, uh, and he said, I said, all I know is the chorus. He said, then sing the chorus. And I said, well, how long? And he said, until I say stop. And it was very like, okay. <laughs> so scary. So, yeah, it was so scary. So we we had planned in the rehearsal to do it to open with another song, and uh, and so I got up, and I was gonna do I was gonna disobey, honestly, and I felt this like these butterflies in my stomach, and I said, man, we could start with this song. And it would probably be amazing to, to people in the room, um, but the Lord won't be pleased with me because I will have disobeyed him. And, and so the win for me is not, uh, you know, even this excitement in the room. The win for me is obedience. So um, I said, yes, okay, I'll do it. So I just started singing it. And again, the band didn't really know it. But I sang that chorus, and as soon as I started singing it, I could just, uh, I could feel this, uh, I don't know, it was very weighty, and I just sang it, and I sang it, and I sang it, and I sang it, and there, there were moments of just this, um, you know, honestly, I was just thanking the Lord for even asking me to do anything, you know. And so that's what that moment was. I had no clue that it would, um, you know, the views and all that kind of stuff. I wasn't thinking about that in the moment, obviously, but um, I think it was just a, an organic moment. And most people don't know it would have never, probably would have never happened. Well, it probably would have happened, but God would have used someone else to do it because God's going to get what he wants. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so that was just a moment of, of obedience that was almost disobedience. <laughs> 